the original heater core is not here the original radiator is not here and now it's time to empty the motor because they put that dex cool stuff dex cool stuff in there and and then they put some tabs in there to like i don't know what what the deal was still with that but it was supposed to do something but it really just ended up making the radiator pretty rusty i mean the whole cooling system rusty especially if you don't if you never maintain it so you know they said it was good like a hundred thousand straight from the factory or something and that's pretty much what happens is we'll just rode them forever and they instead of instead of it being a hundred thousand i think they dropped some tabs in there to keep the life going or something i mean i really don't know don't take my word for it but anyway if you have one of these motors you probably know what i'm talking about or you will especially like you know i've seen some nasty videos of sludge coming straight out of these cars so what i'm dealing with isn't that bad but you i'm not flushing it so you never know like this was one thing this was the other this was it just kept getting worse you know what i'm saying like it's not that bad but it wasn't that good so i'm gonna make sure that I do as much as I can within reason so yeah those had to go if they said 22 I'm just trying to keep it what it is it just depends can this fit in there that might be able to fit in there can that fit in there mm, they'll break it hard for me I bet it will I bet it will It's a lot easier to do without the oil filter in there. Oh yeah, okay. I could do this. We just gotta make sure we go the right way. So, gotta go this way. Water coming at us here, I believe. I believe it. So let me try to move all this stuff out of the way. Uh, probably shouldn't be. Probably get come aimed right at me. It knows who's disturbing it. It's like, hey, what are you doing to me? And I should probably, maybe I should take the GoPro off. No, it's water. I think it can actually go underwater. I should probably get, I don't know which way it's gonna go. Wherever it goes is gonna get me. So there's all that. I thought they said it starts coming out by hand in a second. I should probably put these glasses on. All right, we're getting it all going down right now. Those are pretty hard to see through. Who wants to do these jobs? Exactly, that's why I'm doing it. So I don't have to do it anymore because I'm like, I don't know, I don't want to do these jobs. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take it and run. is supposed to be under there ah I was supposed to be under there I didn't know there's gonna be so much all right Cleaning my driveway. 
This is uh, probably a good time to change this. All right, I'm gonna remove the starter on my Caprice. It's a 95. This is an LT1 with my 95 Impala. And I'm trying to get this knock sensor out, which is right behind it. But I'm gonna get this uh, starter out of the way. Finally gonna just do it. Should have done it. Should have done it right away. But there's another story. So this is a 14 millimeter or a 9 16 I'm using a 14. I don't know if you guys can see anything, probably not. Everything on this car is just so on here. <sighs> Got that one loose. I'm like, where is the light coming from? The light is shining from outside. Right where I need it. There we go. Don't know if you guys can see it or not. Maybe I should put this on my head. It's kind of hard to maneuver down here. Oh, there's a bad video, I'm sure, but there's the bolts right there. I'm at the lower one, loosen the top one already. Let's go. I should just hit this up with my impact. It's gonna be loud. And let me pay attention here because these are heavy, these starters. Really trying to have it fall on anything. Oh, coolant straight in my face. Why does this car do this to me right there? I'm trying to help the car. Can't even see now. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I had the glasses on, but I took them off. There's like no room to move under here. I had the glasses. I did not expect to be taking the starter off when I jacked the car up today. And there that goes. And I'm gonna leave this up here uh, if I can. I can't really see anything right now though. The sun is now shining in my face. Good. Cool in my eye. Good. If I could get this starter, I want to get it out of my way as much as I can. And I don't want to disconnect anything because I'm lazy. And it's definitely going to get all types of nastiness in your face. I'm trying to just 
sit this thing somewhere. Oh man, there's nastiness coming out of it. That's what's crazy is I gotta get that knock sensor and this starter just will not get out of my way. I'm about to like totally disconnect it. This is not what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to let it hang heck of far, but I did, did something just break? I feel like something broke. But I, uh, I might have to. I disconnected the power as far as I could. Don't want to just let it hang like that, but that's what it's doing at the moment. Would rather have it sitting on like a brick or something. I don't want to come a little further and just go to the ground, eh? I could disconnect it. I don't really want to do that. It's not that hard though, and that's heck of nasty. I have a nice looking one. Maybe I should put that in there. This is pretty much, sorry. I'm not even having a camera on the head. There's the starter. Maybe I should just let it hang. Or should I take it off? It's like nothing to take it off, but it's like this job just keeps getting, keeps going on and on. keeps going like I didn't want to change the starter I was just doing the OptiSpark well it's sitting there but it's still gonna be hard for me to maneuver around here now I have to get the knock sensor out still like no room to get that thing out it's still not gonna want to come out all right I think I'm just gonna take this starter out and I disconnected that bolt also before I did this and I disconnected it from the battery I'd rather just like tuck this up somewhere out of my way don't want to play that game with me do you huh? Why don't these things ever reach the ground? All right. I'm trying to get under here. This is knock sensor. I got a dirty starter here. It's sitting on a brick. what can be seen here I tried with this big pipe wrench but it needs something that can clamp on I should just take the starter all the way out it just I mean I took it out but I'm like I should take it all the way out of here because just no matter what I do I swear it's like now I'm gonna start bumping into it now it's just a matter of can I fit these vice grips on here and I need to fit them on hard. Of course, I'm running into some other wire. It's just like, I don't know. They knew you weren't gonna place, they knew you weren't gonna change this very often. Which is good, I guess. I might need a bigger set of vice grips. I might need a special new vice grips for this job. Like, I gotta tighten it. I mean, I gotta loosen it and I can't reach it. I'm gonna do it from right here. <sighs> There's barely any room to work. I'm probably gonna hit myself in the head. Hope not. I don't know. I'm not. This knock sensor is going to come out now. I mean, 
right now I don't know but it's gonna come out I was gonna leave it before I was gonna leave it I probably should leave it but I just can't it's just bothering me like I don't want to do this later and I want to clear out my coolant all the way out and then maybe I'll I have a nice starter I should probably put that in while I have this old one hanging, but I don't know, it's not all the way out yet. It still works, and so I would rather just use it. But... Right, as soon as I move that, that's when I need it, probably. That pipe wrench really didn't work. I might have to go buy a new tool. It'd be nice if these sleeves stayed up because I know it's going to try to cut me somehow. God. Avalanche. do that again oh it turned that's what we're here for y'all that's what we're here for what it turned what we out here bring your glasses so much nastiness oh my goodness how much could this have in there I mean, it's just, I'm getting nasty old oil hit me from every direction. What, that's how you do it. I had to give up for a couple hours there. There we are. Vice grip for the win. That starter just has to come out just to people out there just just do it just take the starter out <sighs> now it's gonna start leaking water at me this is gonna be interesting we can see <sighs> it's gonna leak water straight onto my starter Alright, nowhere in sight is my bucket. I mean, we'll see. Now we get to see my, we get to see how much water, how much nasty water comes out of here. Because I have the other, the other side is off. I'm putting two new knock sensors in here. Then I won't have that problem. What's up with this thing trying to cut my arm? I could do, go get the 22. Not, not a gun, but the millimeter. And get this knock sensor off like that. I wonder if any water is going to come out. The other side is off, so it should be empty. We'll see how much side this, we'll see how much this one holds. I want to take it off right now, but I also want to get a bucket. So I want to see how nasty it is. Because I already drained. This is for all the people out there. This will tell you, can you just take one knock sensor off or do you have to take both of them? There's a bucket there, but I have another one here that's not as bad. All right, we want to, we want accurate readings here. This is science. There's so much oil nastiness. You got to make sure you have. Some glasses on. 
I mean, I can feel there's some old oil credit in like my ear right now. I can feel that. This is the, that thing wants to cut my hand. I, I don't like that when I'm working on a car and I get those cuts on like porn and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like when I put on a dirty sweatshirt and immediately it falls down to my elbow due to gravity. Where is this thing? All right, I'm just complaining now, y'all. I got my hand on the knock sensor and I'm trying to grab it. I'm not screwing it right now. And there's water and it's just going where it wants to go. That's a lot of water. So definitely each side is holding its own water. Now we're gonna get to see, did my cleaning of the other side help clean this one at all? It's a lot of water y'all. No, I didn't. Oh God. Yeah, I know it's durable, but get out of the way. All right. Something's everywhere. Sitting on the knock sensor. Oh yeah, that's nasty. Just like before. It's like something on my head. A spider get off of me. And the car's throwing everything at me, even the spider. Oh, this was the, uh, this was what came out first. All right, then this came out next. That's involved with the trying to flush a radiator a little bit. Now we're gonna change the radiator. This was after flushing out the driver's side a little i didn't catch the i didn't know as much as was going to come out so i didn't really catch the first the driver's side spillage if this was oil i think i'd do a better job i hope i would at least right towards my stuff again that's what that's how we're playing it y'all this caprice is playing the game like that so i guess it wasn't that bad but i've seen better i should have done this when the optispark was out because now i got a brand new optispark in there not, no room to work banging off banging off the side of motors the fence and this caprice this is what you can expect the backyard real-time mechanic that starter needs to get washed anyway crescent wrench for the win now I gotta buy two knock sensors. That's not going back in. It still worked though. So I can't be that mad at it. And it came out. I'm interested to see. Now both sides are leaking. You can actually, see, well, that side's pretty clean. Right side's clean, left side's nasty. Or passenger side nasty, whatever you wanna think of, however you wanna think of it. Whoa, do you guys see it? Nasty, that's why I'm here. That's why I wanted to do it. So there it is, yep, do both sides. Do both sides. This driver's side's gonna be super clean now. 
trying not to get over spill out the front here on my Optus fart. And I wonder if I should, this is all clean water, so I'm just gonna connect that for the moment so it stops spilling out. Since it's clean, it should only help me. I'm not catching, I'm not catching the driver's side because it's like clean water coming out. And that passenger side looks to be getting better. Let's pull that out and see. Something's telling me something on my camera. I don't know. All right. That is still nasty. I think it's gonna be pretty nice though after this. After this, I think it's gonna be looking solid. I mean, not solid, but you know what I'm saying. I know I'm not doing the best job. My driveway needs cleaning anyway. Let's look at that. Oh, look at that in the sun. Yep, that's pretty nasty. Now let's see. I could have done this before I put the water pump on, but I didn't because I wasn't thinking I was gonna have to do this because I wasn't realizing the nastiness of this water. If I knew I was gonna do this, I would have done it before I put the Optus Spark on. But I did seal up the Optus Spark good, so. It's just getting ready for being an LT1 Optus part. So, this system's gonna be clean. I don't have the heater core from this car, from a 95. I'm putting a different radiator, new water pump, and I cleaned this out before. You could tell. Or I'll replace it, I can't remember. I think I cleaned it. All right, so yep, do both sides. If you don't, I mean, I guess, you know, you could do as good as you could do. Sometimes that's all you can do is, is as good as you can do. It's better than nothing. So you can see that's got a lot clearer. It's pretty much like water. A chance to practice pouring. I don't mind if it gets on the driveway, it'll just clean up previous oil spills. That should be good right there. Oh, let's throw it back, throw it back under. And I'll probably just keep running it. Try not to put too much in there because of the Optus Bark. And I'm missing completely. That one's flowing real clean on the driver's side. This one must just be hitting like the frame and stuff.
Maybe it's how the maybe how the hose is spraying. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty clean right there. I still wouldn't drink it, but it's pretty good. For LT1, that's pretty good. There's still some flakes in there. It's not gold. So I'm just gonna let it. I'm just gonna drain it for the next couple days, I guess. I mean, I'm not gonna let it run for the days, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it out here. The driveway will get cleaned, I guess, to some degree. And that starter's getting its share of water on it. All right, here we go, back again. Mike in the house. What's up with everyone? All right. Here, I'm gonna do the knock sensors. Yeah, I'm putting those back in. And I think I'm all ready to go. I got my 22. I probably should have an extension. I was looking for the deep 22. I couldn't, can't really find it at the moment. Maybe it's under here. And I got my torque wrench. It's gonna get set to 14. 14 foot pounds. I already flushed it with water. I sprayed, both of them were open and I ran water through the system until it was running clear. It's probably not gonna be 100, 100%. There's old knock sensors. Had a little bit of a time with one of them. Had to take the starter down and I might replace that. I have an extra one and this one's got extra oil on it so. I don't know, I'll probably just leave this though because it does work and it's easy enough to change. Well, so I kind of want to get all the juice out of it before it goes and I know it works good. So I might just probably just clean it off. I'm not a fan of, it's only a couple wires that disconnect, but I'm really not a fan of doing that one. I don't know why. I feel like I, there's always a chance to cross wires up or forget where they go and you got to mark them and anyway it's a real easy job so but that's just my mind here so anyway let's get back to it there i'll give you a good shot driver's side that is the driver's side where the knock sensor goes and passenger side right up there so these ones come with the thread sealant on there I'm trying to get this GoPro to stay up while not angling down but that's not that's the game that wants to play alright Yes, I'm underneath the car. There it is. That's the part number. I don't know if you guys can see anything. All right. I'm using the GM one. This was like $27 each. The ones I had in there were probably still worked, but you can see how nasty they look. I figured let's just not come back to this area again possible and I probably should have some type of rag to clean off around there that means I gotta come back out of here all right so yeah it's got the sealant already on there you might want to put some Teflon tape or some type of pipe sealant. It's whatever you want to do. You can look into it. There are people debating online about if it needs it, what to use, whatever. This one just comes with what's on there from GM, just like the old one did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it put it in the way it uh, the way it came. So if you buy a cheaper one or a different brand, I don't know. It probably might come with different stuff on it. I'm just gonna wipe off around here. really should clean this whole area but 
We're not gonna get too carried away here. That's how you get a car that never gets put back together. So yeah, this one, I didn't plan on doing the knock sensors. For anyone that's just watching this video. Um, this all started with the OptiSpark. So there it is. Just gonna screw it in. And it only has to be 14 foot pounds. So you don't want to go, you don't want to just keep screwing it in all the way. And this one should be a little bit easier to put back in. I can use my little ratchet. If you could break it loose and you can use this little ratchet to unscrew it but to break it loose you're probably gonna need a breaker bar or big ratchet or something i had to use vice grips and i just and i vice gripped around this part um 14 foot pounds torque isn't too hard so i'm sure it needs to go more than that but i'm gonna grab this torque wrench this camera down for a second i usually have it on my head the camera but under here i'm not having much room at the moment so i just got it laying where it is am i even going to be able to get in here i need to find a 22 that i need to find a big 22 all right it's always something and there's that is the beginning of it so there's how you put it in the passenger side once you got it out it's a little bit harder to get the passenger side one out because the starter is in the way but you could just remove that get it with the you're not supposed to use extensions when you're torquing stuff but what can I do? Sometimes you have to. I feel like I'm gonna need another one. Maybe I should get a big one. Nah, that's gonna be in the way. We're gonna have to just go with this. That's 14. If I read that correctly. Yep, I was right. That's good, because they said, people were saying 15, people were saying 14. I was like right in between. All right, that's good. Had to use the extension. Can't get to it any other way. All right, and I gotta put my starter back on. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. And Whoa, I gotta put this. I gotta put this uh, connection back on, and I'm probably gonna. Why is it in between there like that? I wanna put it on now, but I can't really reach it, so we're gonna put it on later. But that one is in there, y'all. Alright, one down. Not bad this side I don't know if you guys can see again but we're in here I'm gonna put this other bang I'm gonna put this other one in there all right 
right up in there. Right out of the bag, onto the car. Oh. I'm not left handed, so. I'll just try to give y'all the shot. I could have done it, but. I'd rather do it like this. All right. Is this one gonna be just as weird to tighten up? Probably have to use extension on it. Tightening's not a problem, but the uh, torquing of it. I had to get the extension out. But we could get this partially in there. And the next job I'm doing is this oil filter adapter. I got rid of the oil cooler lines because they were leaking. It was actually leaking up top from that seal, I believe. So we're just gonna get rid of that whole system. Here we go back again. That one is a straight, <clears throat> pretty straight shot through that same bracket area. it you're not being clear enough with me tool there it is and if we have any problems I guess we'll be back there it is now I have to connect these uh, these lines back here that I tucked up because they were they had a lot of oil on them. They still do. Let's see which way do they route. Uh, might lead them out of the way for now because I have to put this oil filter, but there's a connection. You know, you just plug that right back on. cleaner than they need to be but it's all right where's the 15 14 14 Should bring this i think maybe oh man it's raining now it's july july 31st rain huh all right whatever all right here we go putting the starter in
So I'm using the same one I had, but if you were just replacing it, you just connect these wires here all up. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, let's show it right up close, hopefully. I got the GoPro down here, so I'm laying underneath the car, so it's only so much I can do. Sometimes it doesn't show everything. I'm just doing this and I figure about while well, I'm doing it, I might as well show people what's going on. And it's kind of hard because like the GoPro keeps falling off my head. I gotta put those plug wires back on. That'll be a job for later. It's raining. What's going on? It's it's July still. I'm not ready for stuff to get rained on like that. I wasn't even thinking like, oh, I gotta save stuff from getting rained on yet. All right, if yours, if your car is like mine, it's gonna be some oil all in your face. Oh man, there's like a lot of, I did a coolant flight, oh. No, that's not coolant. This all oh, the burp brake clean. I just sprayed on it. All right, it's always something, so that's for sure. Good thing I didn't get that on me. That was not water. So it's raining outside, and there's brake clean falling out of my starter. All right, it got in there in the little grooves. You could feel it. Try to get one of these bolts in. Yep, I hear it raining. I'm about to go look for stuff to clean up. It's probably one of them quick rains, but it's actually getting pretty wet out there, it seems. Everything's hard to maneuver. All right. Let's get this in there. You know, at first you might not want to use this. You want to thread it in first, but I didn't really feel like waiting right there. Just got straight to it. This is gonna be loud right near my ear. I'm pumped back up. I think I'll just use my ratchet. Glass is getting foggy, y'all. Where's the GoPro? Who knows? I'm getting caught on a brick for sure. So it sounds like it stopped raining. I don't have to water any plants today, I guess. I can't see because these glasses are fogged up and stuck on there. Yep, just regular auto mechanic complaining, you know. It's actually going pretty good here. Like I said, you probably don't gotta over torque this either. Just it's tight, it's tight. I'm sure it's got some type of torque spec. Now I gotta plug this in, which I kinda wanna clean that off with some cleaner. I should use an electronic cleaner. I should get away from it because it's gonna spray me. But I'll do what I can while I'm under here. I just want to brush it off like around where, where it's going to connect. It's pretty nasty. Well, 
Well, it's better than it was. <laughs> All right. Better than it was. All right, that's as good as I could get it. I could do better, but I'm not going to. It'll be fine. And plug it in. Bam. All right, this goes somewhere. I don't think it was connected. It might be. We'll figure that out. I think I just had it. Probably just was. <laughs> yep. That's a lot of that's a lot of oil up there. I'm gonna just try to tuck this behind the starter. So much stuff just fell into my face. So that thing's just chilling behind the starter. I don't know what it is at the moment. And uh if I need it, I know where it's at. Alright. I'm getting out of here now. I think that's it for me down here. Everything's connected, knock sensors are in. Oil filter adapters in now i gotta put the radiator back in oh, i got oil in my face i'm sure i do yeah it did rain while i was under there take a break now yep next next step is a uh, radiator goes in well actually i'm probably gonna paint that valance support i got some black undercarriage paint and i'm probably just gonna hit it up it's not gonna be perfect but it looks pretty rusty a little bit so i'm just gonna make it look a little bit better probably should hit it up everywhere but you know do what i i'll do what i can break time i can feel i got dirt in my face there it is get all these tools out of here and i can put the, put the car back down on the ground i think I still don't know if my Optus Park's gonna work, but that's another story. So I'll be back. Peace. There it is. I don't know which video I'm doing. I'm doing a whole video. I'll be able to cut it up in parts. I'll be like knock sensor removal, starter removal, Optus Spark, water pump, flush, all that. All right, Mike, I'm out here. Break time.